So hi, I'm Bob Norwood. I'm a, a professor of optical sciences at the University of Arizona. And uh, I appreciate the opportunity to tell you a little bit about how I got to be doing what I'm doing. The way I got into photonics, uh, what happened was when I went to MIT, I was interviewed by a local alumni interviewer uh, who happened to be the director of a Bell Laboratories that was in uh, not too far from my town. So every, every uh, year I would send him my, my resume uh, to see if there was a summer job for me. And uh, after freshman year he said, oh, you know, nothing this summer. And sophomore year, uh, nothing that summer. But then after my junior year, uh, I actually got a job there uh, with a PhD who had just graduated from the University of Illinois and he was working on this thing called fiber optics. And this was 1982, <laughs> a while ago. And he was working on things called lithium niobate modulators, uh, which uh, it's funny, I'm still doing some work on things having to do with lithium niobate modulators. But that experience uh, really got me interested in optics and, uh, and fiber optics specifically. The thing I love about fiber optics uh, is that uh, it's really uh, such a fantastic manufacturing technology and such amazing material science that essentially physics works uh, like the textbook in fiber optics. That's what makes it so cool. You know, essentially, you can take textbook equations, plug them in, and, and it actually works that way. You can measure things. So, so that's what I've always loved about about the field and what I always tell people when they ask, you know, why do you love, love this? That's why I love it. Because basically it's a, it's a perfect fusion of fundamental physics and amazing technology, which is what gets me excited. So uh, That's one of the great things about research for me is I've always appreciated a good team. You know, when I was a, when I was a kid, I played a lot of basketball and, and, uh, and I admired the real great teams, the, team, the teams that, that really played team basketball. And, you know, it takes things to another level. It takes things above what the individual can do. And that's what really great research teams can do. They can do a lot more than, than any given individual can do. So and I've had the good fortune to be on a number of those in my career. And uh, those, are, those are really special times. I think at the end of the day, uh, in terms of my career, uh, it's uh, turned out in some cases expectedly, in some cases unexpectedly. It's always been fun. Uh, I've always enjoyed my research. Uh, now, uh, I'd say uh, my life's uh, it's pretty hectic uh, in terms of an average day at, at work. It's it's uh, it's it's pretty crazy, I have to say. But but it's a great. Um, it's a great environment if you like constant challenges. You know, there's always a new, a new thing to tackle, a new problem to solve, uh, and that that's fun. It's fun solving problems. It's, that's what uh, that's what you get your enjoyment out of as a as a scientist and a researcher. I mean, you solve a problem and you have a special day where you know everything really works, and you remember those days uh, because you've worked very hard for a long time, and those days don't come along so often. And when they do, you remember them. I think you know, the best advice I guess I could give somebody is uh, don't listen to my advice. <laughs> Go out and you know, you know, forge your own path in, 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 in science and research. It's, it's among the most creative endeavors that uh, you know, exist in, uh, in humanity is, is creating science.